Welcome, I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my assistant, Beaker. Yeah, excuse me, Dr. Honeydew. We need Beaker in Bristol right away. Oopsie doodle. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Kermit, yeah, come on out and uh, introduce yourself to Hawkins. Thank you, sir. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here. Welcome to hey, the- Hey, Kermit! I got some great new pirate jokes for the game. Uh, well, not now, Fozzie. You see, wait, we wait. Have... Did you hear the one about the pirate who kept falling down? Uh, they called him Black and Bluebeard. Ah, waka waka. Any more jokes like that, Fozzie, and you'll waka waka the plank. Hey, that's funny. C can I use that? Uh, sure. But but first, you have to take your place in Bristol, please. No. Yeah, go ahead. Right by the door. Yep. Okay. Now where's the parrot? Ah! Ah, Stevenson! You're the help character! You go and help already! <clears throat> Hiya, Hawkins! Say, welcome to the game! So I know you're asking yourself, Self, why is this parrot calling me Hawkins? Wasn't he the hero of Treasure Island? Right, right, wrong! Haha! <laughs> you're the new Hawkins and hero! And I'm your Stevenson! I'll be on my perch. Ah! Here's something else. Just tap on me once if you need any help. Tap on me twice if you're ready to see your stuff. Anytime you're ready, I'm ready. Ah! Okay, start the opening! Woo! I was Flint's first mate that voyage. Three days east of Tortola in the Caribbee, Flint knew an island. That's where we buried the treasure. Gold and blood, they were Flint's trademarks. He'd leave both behind him that day. And no one knows to this day what happened to the treasure or the treasure map. Maybe you'll find them. Hey, Hawkins. Hawkins? Ha! <laughs> Tell us another adventure, Mr. Bones. My favorite's the story about the one-legged man. Ah, the one-legged man. I told you never to mention that cursed beast. Now get back there and finish brewing my stew. I feel the horrors coming on. Be gone! The horrors? Oh, I think I'll be going now. Oh. <laughs> Eh? Billy Bones, it's me, Blind Pew, come to settle a score. <laughs> oh. Ow. Billy, okay? Why? Treasure Island? Buried treasure? A treasure map? Get the connection? There will be a quiz! Ah! The black spot! The black spot! A real black spot? Uh, can I see it? I've never seen a real black spot before, Mr. B. Hey, hey, hold that door! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, watch out! The black spot got me! Oh, oh, this is bad, this is bad. Pirates, black spot, danger, and worst of all, the refrigerator's empty! Oh. Hmm. I'll look for a key. I'll look for a sledgehammer. Hmm. The black spot! 
The blank spot! With some friends to take back our treasure map <laughs> and whatever else we can lay our eyes on. <laughs> Get it? Eyes? Lay our eyes on? <laughs> they kill me! I don't know what's more dangerous, being socked by a pirate, or being in here with a pirate's dirty socks! <laughs> Billy, did you remember to check the expiration date on your explosives? Okay, right, it's not like the hallway's not a lot of fun, but I'd still like to go search for the missing key. Please? Rock, and you're still alive! You're doing better than most! <laughs> hey, thanks! Boy, it's really messy in here, and I'm allergic to that. <laughs> Let, let's get out of here, but first we really need to find the map. <clears throat> The black spot is the universal pirate symbol for death and doom! I don't know what's more dangerous, being socked by a pirate or being in here with a pirate's dirty socks! <laughs> All brown and yummy. Go for the key! <laughs> Boy, it's really messy in here, and I'm allergic to da, 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 <laughs> Here. But first, we really need to find the map. <clears throat> you know, Hawkins, whenever I'm looking for a treasure map, I happen to look in the big sea chest in the middle of the room! <gasps> oh, but that's just me. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Whoa, extreme close-up! Okay, Hawkins, you're looking at the inside of my wing. My wing is where I carry our stuff. 
Now, when you want to close my wing, just tap on any of my green feathers. If you ever want to leave our adventure, just tap on the door. If you want to load or save an adventure, just tap the load or save buttons. Tap anything else to take a closer look. Oh, and uh, Hawkins, <laughs> be careful where you tap, okay? Because <laughs> I'm ticklish. Oh, oh, oh feathers! <laughs> feathers! <laughs> Now this is a rock the dead pirate guy left behind. Remember, we need four of them to get the treasure. Don't believe old Billy. I'll tell you, the whole matter is hogwash. If you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> and I repeat. <laughs> Okay, right, it's not like the hallway's not a lot of fun, but I'd still like to go search for the missing key. Please? some friends to take back our treasure map <laughs> and whatever else we can lay our eyes on. <laughs> Get it? Eyes? Lay our eyes on? They <laughs> <I> kill me! <laughs> oh, I think Mr. Bone should do his laundry once in a while. Uh, on second thought, don't bother. And they say rats smell bad. Go for the key! Looks like Mr. Bones is checked out for the evening. Whew, you know he hardly ever sleeps in his room anymore. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
did you remember to brush your tooth? Billy, did you remember to check the expiration date on your explosives? The black spot is the universal pirate symbol for death and doom. Ah, the black spot. So that's how it ends for old Billy. The black spot. And all for a stinking treasure map. <laughs> the black spot is the universal pirate symbol for death and doom. Boy, it's really messy in here, and I'm allergic to da, 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 Let, Let's get out of here, but first we really need to find the map. <clears throat> this is your compass. Remember north, south, east, and west. Your compass leads to the treasure chest. Now this is a rock the dead pirate guy left behind. This is the MPZ-1000, woohoo, the latest in high technology. Now you can use the MPZ to print out coloring pages of scenes from the game. Now this is the rat quarter. Use it to listen to some really cool music from our adventure. With those tall tails of his, Billy Bones is a bigger hand than we are. Hmm. <laughs> hey, thanks! Hey, Hawkins, try this. Ah! ah, the smell of adventure. Rotting wood, mold, mildew. Yep, that's adventure, all right. <laughs> Trapped. We must be getting warmer. Yes. Ooh, now it's lit. <laughs> arch, arch, arch. Hawkins, this be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. If you want to find me buried treasure, you'll need more than a map to Treasure Island. <laughs> You'll need to find the four diamond-shaped rocks I left behind. Now these rocks could be the key to the treasure, or your grave! <laughs> Open up! You know you're in there. Open up! You know you're in there. 
Looks like we've got two choices. A, we jump two stories into the vegetable cart below, or B, we stay here and face the deadly, angry, and very well-armed pirates. And C, there isn't a C. It's always a C. What kind of a game is this without a C? Ha <laughs> ha. We'd be taking that treasure map now! <laughs> What's that? I smell something burning. <laughs> Look out, it's raining rats and uh, whatever. Oh, I've had enough of this job. I'm out of here. Look out below! Molasses! What a mess! Whew! Oh, that was a close one. Now, if only there was some way to pass the time between here and Bristol. <laughs> 99 pieces of cheese on the wall, 99 pieces of cheese. Take one down, pass it around, 98 pieces of cheese on the wall. Oh, 98 pieces of cheese on the wall, 98 pieces of cheese. Take one down, let it turn brown, 97 pieces of cheese on the wall. 97 pieces of cheese on the wall, 97 pieces of cheese, take one down, One piece of cheese on the wall, one piece of cheese, take it down, look all around, now we're in Bristol Town! <laughs> Bristol, just like I pictured it! Why don't you clean the molasses off so you can see it? Now we need a ship. Why? Well, we have a map to, you know, Treasure Island. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, hey, hey, sounds like intermission. I say we get some food. I say we find a ship. Let's head for the docks. Okay, come on. <laughs> Welcome to the Motel Pieces of Six. Sorry, no vacancies, but we'll keep the lantern on for ya. Hey, you, you know, that squire's a real smart person. Yeah, you know, we, we went to Oxford together. Oxford University? Oh, you mean there's a university there? I'm thinking. Hey, Hawkins, <laughs> why don't you go inside? I ain't dressed for it. Yeah, neither am I. Yeah. Yes, how can I help you? Hiya, Pooch. Stevenson's the name. Adventure parodying's my game. Oh, this is Hawkins. Say hi, Hawkins. Hey, we'd like to show the Squire something, if you don't mind. Well, actually, I do mind. That flung out of a burning building landed in a vegetable truck covered by molasses look simply won't do. The squire insists that his guest be dressed appropriately. I require you retire that attire and return before the squire tires, attired in attire more desired by the squire. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Ah! Not in a million years. Good day. <laughs> All that just to tell us that you need new clothes. How rude. Hey there! You look like you could use some new clothes. Come on in! Welcome! Not to be rude, but, uh, <clears throat> that flung out of a burning building landing in a vegetable truck covered by a molasses look went out of style last year. How about we make a deal?
If you keep them pirates away from my store, you can earn enough for one of my Monsieur Edward specials over here. I'll pay you one doubloon for every nasty pirate you hit, but don't hit any of my customers or I'll have to dock your pay. It's that simple. The anti-buccaneer lunch launcher is ready for firing. Good luck. Shooting. Let me ring her up. Take that. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to hurt. Missed you, you good for nothing. You shoots, you scores! Got another! Bingo! You scoundrel! Not bad! Shooting. Nice shooting. Let me ring her up. Uh, hey, molasses, get a load of yourself in the mirror. Looks like you need some new clothes. Pop's cash register shows which outfits you can afford. <laughs> Space Ranger outfit is out of this world. How about blasting off for the Squires? Rah! Nice shooting. Let me ring her up. Thanks for helping out. Hope to see you again. Bye.
Oh, splendid. You're wearing a Monsieur Edouard original. The squire is away on business, but his half-wit son will see you. Master Trelawney, these visitors say they have something to show you. Oh, boy, show and tell. Jeeves, send them on up. The squire will receive you now. Please proceed. Hello there. What can I do for you? Wait, I know. You've come to buy my latest brainstorm. It will change the world. It's called the rubber chicken. Ah, how many can I put you down for? No, wait, let me get a quill. Hey, the squire wants to play show and tell. Now, you know what to show him, don't you? The compass, right? Right? Wrong! <laughs> you show him the map I was testing. Stay on your toes, Hawkins. <laughs> wow, the map to Treasure Island. Tell you what, you have the map, I have the ship. Let's be partners. Here's the official Trelawney seal of passage. Show it to Mr. Arrow, and he'll let you board the Hispaniola, okay? Oops, wrong seal. Ah, here we are. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the seal, Squire. A Hawkins and I'll meet you at the boat. Oh, boy! We're going on an adventure to Treasure Island! Hey, Jeeves, I'm going on a trip! Pack my whoopee cushions! See you on the Hispaniola! Come on! Oh, you can come too. Come on, come on. So sensitive. Come on, Hawkins! They're getting ready to sail! The Hispaniola, the queen of the seas, or is that the, the joker of the seas? Oh well, go ahead. I'll meet you on board in a few minutes. Hmm. I can see that you have the Trelawney Seal of Passage. You have obviously found favor with the Squire. Welcome aboard the Hispaniola! I'd like to officially welcome you aboard the Hispaniola. I've heard some really great things about you from the Squire. Hmm? I sense that you have what it takes to be a sailor, but you have much to learn about the sea. As such, I have arranged a series of lessons for you that are sure to help you become a full-fledged sailor. So, Hawkins, as part of your training, you must do the following. Help Mr. Silver in the galley, load the jolly boat, fire the cannon, weigh the anchor, and build your own ship model. After you've finished all your lessons, come see me at the helm, and I'll show you how to steer the Hispaniola to Treasure Island. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like to know one thing, Mr. Errol. Yes, sir. Who hired this crew? This is without a doubt the seediest lot of cutthroats, villains, and scoundrels I have ever seen. I will uncover the responsible party, Captain. And believe me, that party will take 40 lashes and walk the plank. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Arrow. How about one lash and we make him walk the plank 40 times? No lashes and no planks. Aye, aye, sir. How about a stern talking to and a couple of shame on yous? That's more like it. Good day, Mr. Arrow. Good day. Mm. Hawkins, here's a little game I picked up on my travels around the world. When ships want to communicate, they wave flags like the ones you see before you. Match the flags on my desk and we'll see what stories they have to tell. One simple rule, 
you can only match a flag that is free on either its left or right side. Go ahead, give it a go. Excellent! Dear Benjamina, The life of a captain sometimes leads down a long, difficult road. Um, let's see, make that down a long, difficult river. Yeah, that's better. A river filled with difficult decisions. I don't know what tomorrow may hold, but one thing I shall always know is that I will forever love you, no matter how far apart we are. Love always, Smalley. Mate, climb or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But be careful. Well, we wouldn't want you to fall. It's a long way down. Yeah, a very long way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Hawkins, check this out. Long John had a great idea for how to load the jolly boat. <laughs> the aft is the back of the boat. The four is in front. I thought the four was between the three and the five. Waka waka. Ah. Ping. Greetings, cabin mate Hawkins. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to the Cannon Blaster Pro, the finest cannon we've ever made. Actually, it's the only cannon we've ever made. <laughs> According to the captain, you need to learn how to fire the cannon. Give me a call if you need any instructions. Come along, Beaky, it's time for our next experiment. Allow me to give you some brief instructions regarding the Cannon Blaster Pro. <clears throat> to turn the cannon left and right, 
Use the arrows. To fire the cannon, use the red button. Fire at will. Boop. <laughs> Close one. The close one. We're getting closer. Try again. Nicely done, Hawkins. You fired that cannon like a seasoned deckhand. Keep up the good work. Precise hit! Getting closer, try again. Close one.
Hawkins, might I remind you that one of your lessons is to weigh the anchor? Oh, uh, that, that, that's okay, Mr. Arrow. I already weighed it. It weighs 367 and three quarter pounds. Hmm. Very well. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but it will have to do. So you're gonna trust a halfwit to weigh the anchor? Hoist it up, Hawkins! Ah! Anchors away! Outstanding, Hawkins! I hear you and the Squire have laid the anchor in magnificent fashion. We now can safely anchor the Hispaniola when we get to Treasure Island. Hmm. Ah, yes, Hawkins. I see you're back for another round with the Cannon Blaster Pro, the latest in 16-bit technology. Guaranteed to blow anything into at least 16 bits. Ooh, you're getting closer. Try again. Precise hit! Precise hit! Close one. Use my nose to help lift the crates into the jolly boat. Just move the crates into position. 